Charterman, Charterman Rhyme Charterman, Charterman, Charterman Rhyme Greedy comics, toys are hella sick Hell whackin' it, take a bad hit Take a bad hit, Charterman uh, Subscribe Machine for the domains Another Iron Man suit Is Tony Stank in there? Hey, what's up you guys? Shardimus Prime here, doing another Diamond Select Toys action figure review on the Ghostbusters 2 movies Wave 7 Deluxe Egon Spangler. I gotta give a big thanks to Diamond Select Toys for sponsoring this YouTube channel and providing this product to review for you guys. If you want to see the latest from DST, check the link in the description below. And we have Egon right over here. Uh, as I said earlier, this is the Deluxe version. There's also a slim packaging, so that's pretty sweet. You have options over there. And Egon's one of my favorite Ghostbusters. You can see Egon on the side right there. And then on the very back, you can see the other Wave 7 figures. There's a read-up over here. If you want to read it, go ahead and pause it now. Not much going on the top or on the bottom or at the side right over there, so let's get to it and crack this thing open. And here's Egon out of the packaging with almost all of his accessories attached to his Proton Pack, which looks pretty cool. I really do like that functionality right there. And he did wear this suit for a very brief time, wasn't it? In just one of the commercials or something where they had these suits on right over here. But I do think they look pretty cool, and I think it's actually a pretty sweet looking figure. As I mentioned, he comes with several accessories, so let's take a closer look at those, and then we'll take a closer look at Egon. So Egon comes with his build a firehouse piece, and Diamond Select Toys does include instructions to help put that together. That's going to look really awesome if I ever complete that. I hope to complete it. It looks huge. Well, I have seen it before at display at various Comic Cons and stuff, but anyway, uh, I have a door right here that could plug into this side of the wall, so that is pretty nifty. You have these little tabs that stick out right there that lock it into place, so you want to push that in or you could just pull this little piece in right there and then it locks in so that's pretty clever how they have that set up and if you want to see it next to another door uh, you can see I have these two pieces so this thing is going to be pretty wide man I'm pretty excited for that I just need some floor pieces and maybe a lot of up here oh I also have this piece right there yeah and then here's the other accessories that we get with Egon you can see that we get three pairs of interchangeable hands we have these flesh hands right here the flesh colored hands and then we have the gloved hands which have these little uh, rubbery you know cuffs around them. They didn't have to give us two sets of the cuffs, I guess, but you know, it's helpful in case you lose one. Uh, we get this walkie-talkie right here, which has a utility belt storage, which is pretty sweet, so you can just store it right in here. I think that's pretty awesome. And then we get the ectoplasm. I really like the ectoplasm, and it has little bubbles in there, so that's pretty nifty. I really dig that quite a bit. And then we have this PKE meter. I, I don't think it is, but it's this other, you know, kind of uh, reading device for, you know, the ghosts and stuff. I can't remember what it's called exactly, but I do like it. As far as uh, finding proper storage for it on uh, this the, the whole backpack and everything, I, I just don't really know exactly where to put it. So yeah, I, I'm just a little bit confused. But yeah, the Proton Pack doesn't really seem to have solid placement for it, unless I'm totally mistaken. And then uh, we also get the ecto or the ecto containment unit right here, the trap for the ghosts, which is one of my favorite accessories. I like this a lot. I think I had one when I was a kid where you could step on the button and you know the doors open up and I think they had a little light that would shine but that is really cool I dig this a lot yeah that's pretty sweet and then you could see that you could ravel this out it's not really made with bendy wire or anything kind of wish it was but still I think this is pretty awesome then you could see the pedal right there and then this does have storage right here along the side and you can go ahead and port it on you just play match the shape and there you go, not very hard to do at all. And then we have the stream right over here, which we can attach to his proton gun. This is pretty sweet, I like this. And you get this little clear piece right here that just plugs into the end of the proton gun, which is pretty awesome. And I do like the proton gun too. We'll take a closer look at the proton pack and everything in just a second, but yeah, that looks pretty cool. I dig that. Uh, one thing that does bother me is I feel like this end is gonna snap off any second right now. I wish that was on there a little tighter, but yeah, so that looks like it's coming apart. And then lastly, uh, we get his little Santa hat right here, which isn't too bad. The other Ghostbusters had one, so yeah, it's cool that he has one too. And here's looking at the Egon head sculpt, and I think Diamond Select Toys did a fantastic job with this. I really dig it a lot. Look at they captured all those Aqualine features and everything. I love that smirk. That looks really good. I like the glasses that we're seeing right over here. Uh, I didn't try removing them. I don't think, yeah, they're not removable. I like the beady eyes right there. And the hair looks really good too. I like that pomp, man. Beautiful looking pomp. 
Really good looking Egon. There's the back of the head. And here's looking at the Proton Pack, which is just littered with details. I love this. This is awesome. I like to brighten things up because we're seeing mostly black plastic. And we get tiny little warning deco right over there. That's really cool. I like all the wires and cables that we're seeing. A little danger sticker right there. That's actually a sticker, not deco. And then looking on the side right here, yeah, I can go ahead and remove the containment unit. Eh, there we go. And that looks pretty cool, seeing the wires and everything on the side. And you can see the proton pack, or the, the proton gun just attaches right here. I actually super glued this together. This snapped off on me, so I just put some super glue on it. I have the Ray figure from Ghostbusters 2, and I didn't have that problem. So, yeah, just a bit of a bummer that I had to fix that up, but not the worst thing in the world, because, yeah, it works just fine now. But looking back onto the figure, you can see that we get the nice deco for the Ghostbusters 2, and I like how the straps look, and they have some details right here with the buckles and everything. Thing. You can see it says Spangler right there for his badge, so that's pretty sweet. And I think they reuse the same body on all the Ghostbusters figures. This very much looks like the Ray. I like how we have the elbow pads right there. Looks pretty sweet. Then you get some danglies going on. Nice details throughout on this thing. Then looking at the legs, look pretty good. Nice black wash over the gray plastic. You can see some details right there in his jumpsuit, looking really nice. I like the, how the boots came out right here too, so yeah, not looking too bad. And he does have pickles at the bottom of his feet. Now I had almost picked up the Mattel version of these figures, but I'm really glad I held out because I like the articulation on Diamond Select Toys a lot more than the Mattels. Uh, you cannot move his head up too much though, that is a little unfortunate, but you can move his head downward, and you also get side to side motion, and you get some good head tilting right there. Uh, the shoulders move outward, they do move down, you could rotate 360 right there at the shoulder. He does have a single jointed elbow that meets at 90 degrees, and you also get rotation at the elbow, then the hands turn side to side and hinge up and down, oh, a little bit flaking right there. On the right side, you get a horizontal hinge. We get a diaphragm joint that turns side to side, a little bit of diaphragm pivot, and he can move forward a bit and back some. We also get a waist swivel right here, knocked over the proton gun, and then you can move his hips outward very far, and he can kick forward that much, and he can kick back that much. You get an upper thigh cut, double jointed knees, and then his boot rotates, uh, the boot does not rotate, sorry, and his ankles move down, and they don't move up, and he does have ankle pivot. Now to measure out Egon, you can see that he is standing just under eight inches tall. And then here's Egon next to our Ghostbusters 2 Ray figure from Diamond Select Toys, and they don't have the exact same body molds. Well, at least the upper torsos I know for certain are different. You can see that, you know, just the way the zipper's hanging right over there and the collars, yeah, they, they are different right there. And of course, they stand at different heights, which I think is great, you know? I really like the size difference between these two. And then here's Egon next to a couple other Ghostbusters 2 Diamond Select Toys figures. We have Lewis and Vigo the Carpathian. And and then here's Egon Spangler next to your average six inch scale figure. We have the Marvel Legends Big Time Letdown Spider-Man. Ah, I gotta thank you guys again for watching my video, especially those of you that watch all the way from the beginning to the end. I really do appreciate it. As well as when you hit that like button, leave a comment down below letting me know what you think of the figure. Let me know what you think of the review. And if you have not already, please hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell. I really like this figure, man. I think it's a pretty good figure. My biggest gripe is really the little cable piece coming off at the end of the proton gun, but that doesn't really bother me too much. I was able to glue it back together and everything, so I still think it's a really awesome piece. I really do like it a lot. I think Diamond Select Toys is doing a really good job with these Ghostbuster figures overall. So I like the piece. I did have a little bit of a problem with that, the whole proton gun thing, so it does like knock down just a little bit down the peg of the pecking order just a little bit, so I'm giving it a sud rating of it's not so bad. And again, I'd like to know what you guys think, so please let me know in the comments section below. If you want to see the latest in action figure news, you could find it all over at toynewseye.com and if you want to stay in touch with me on the social media you can go ahead and follow me on instagram twitter and twitch links to everything in the description below i'll catch you guys later peace Hey, new Shark Miss Prime videos. Hey, you should click one. Yeah, click on one of them. Or subscribe if you haven't.